Um, I'm here with Jean Barish, who's going to tell us why we should vote yes on Proposition H and no on Proposition I in the upcoming election. Now, first of all, Jean, tell me what is Proposition H? Proposition H is a proposition that was put on the ballot as the result of collecting about 17,000 signatures from voters all over the city of San Francisco. And it's a very simple proposition. It merely says that all athletic fields in Golden Gate Park and the western edge portion of Golden Gate Park, west of Crossover Drive, should be made of natural grass and not have night lights. Those include the polo fields and the beach chalet um, soccer fields. That's all that Proposition H says. Natural grass and no light, no night lighting in those athletic fields. And now, what is Proposition I, and why is it so important that we don't just vote yes on H, but no on I? According to Prop I, which is their counterproposal, if they get more yes votes than we do, then the athletic fields at the beach chalet will be built out of natural artificial turf, rubber tire crumb, and sports lights. So it's clearly a countermeasure opposing Proposition H. See, but it's more than that. So you're saying even if everybody votes yes on H, if they don't vote no on I, they're going to be able to still defeat H? It's very possible that if people vote yes on H and also vote yes on I, H could lose. Wow. Because if I gets more yes votes than H, then H would lose and the grass fields would um, not be allowed. So you have to vote yes on H and no, no on, on I. I. But I, I goes further than just trying to defeat H. Mm -hmm. And that's something that everybody has to understand. This is not only an attempt to build artificial turf fields with rubber tire crumb and lights in Golden Gate Park. This is a power grab by the city because I says that if any project anywhere in San Francisco, anywhere, which, anywhere in San Francisco that's on Reckon Park property, um, has an environmental impact report that is approved and would double the use of the area, it would be approved by the city. It right. basically allows them to commercialize all the parks. It could yeah. allow them to commercialize the parks yeah, just as they want to commercialize. It. Right. They couldn't. And it takes away the right of voters to put a citizen's initiative on the ballot. Mm. They're very clear about that. Senator Diane Feinstein. It takes away rights. So Proposition I, if you vote yes, it's going to take away your rights. Yes. That's yes. amazing. Yes, it could disenfranchise voters uh -huh. and not allow them to put citizens' initiatives on the ballot. We are deeply concerned about this. Um, I call it a Trojan horse because the way the city describes the project, it's good for the parks. It's going to expand the facilities. It's going to give kids uh -huh. more play fields. But a lot of the things that are supposedly going to be permitted by Proposition I are already allowed. It looks like a gift to the city, but what it really is, is a power grab and a very dangerous um, abrogation and removal of, of people's rights. Wow. So it's a power grab, it's a disenfranchisement, it's a Trojan horse. You should not vote for Prop I. Yes on H and no on I and keep Golden Gate Park natural and protect and preserve all the parks in the city and keep your rights. San Francisco's Ocean Beach. The Beach Chalet sports fields are a three minute walk from the beach, but you can't see them from the shore. So you just cross the Great Highway behind the beach and take the path into the thicket of trees to get there. Behind the trees is an enormous field currently under constant use. San Franciscans have played on these grass fields since 1933. This afternoon it's girls lacrosse. Tomorrow morning, soccer. On your visit, you may feel you've entered a secret glade. The rustle of leaves in the ocean wind blends with the whoosh of traffic and soothing sounds of surf. Lacrosse players' excited cries mingle with bird calls. If you come here at dawn or dusk, you'll hear many birds. This is a stopover for several species of travelers along the Pacific Flyway. It's a hunting ground for the great blue heron which nests nearby. There's nothing like this place anywhere else in Golden Gate Park. Come look now because all this is about to change. 
The city of San Francisco intends to renovate these fields by constructing an urban-style soccer field complex here, and it has the approval from the California Coastal Commission. Never mind that what the city means to do violates coastal protection standards spelled out in the 1976 California Coastal Act. This new complex will be bigger than Candlestick Park. Seven plus acres of grass will be covered with artificial turf made of crumbled tires and plastic. Synthetic turf playgrounds. Health experts are claiming they're making children sick. It follows reports of high chemical levels in the, the surface. The agency is saying it's not so sure about the use of those recycled tires as a playground surface. I wanted to remind you as a, as a pediatrician, um, as I do to most audiences, to remind you what's different about kids. You know, the mantra in pediatrics, kids are not just little adults, they're different. Um, and they really are, and in terms of environmental exposure, it's quite different. And these are some of the most important factors that make kids different. And the younger the kid, uh, I think the more these come into play. This path will resemble an urban roadside walkway with automobile traffic partly screened by trees on one side. Nine acres of plastic grass and concrete on the other. Expect to see far fewer birds. There's no food value in toxic tire crumble nor shelter under the 60-foot stadium lights that will glare above the trees every day of the year from sunset to 10 p.m. What is now the darkest stretch of the night sky behind Ocean Beach will be the brightest. 150,000 watts of light, diffused and amplified by fog, will reflect into the sky and illuminate beach nesting areas of the endangered snowy plover. Please help us stop this destructive project from going forward. To learn more, go to sfoceanedge.org. Wow. So it's a power grab, it's a disenfranchisement, it's a Trojan horse. You should not vote for Prop I. Yes on H and no on I. And keep Golden Gate Park natural and protect and preserve all the parks in the city and keep your rights. Mm-hmm. <laughs>